collapse of the ancient Maya, aligning history with geological analysis. Arising on the Yucatan Peninsula in modern-day Mexico, the Maya were one of the world's most advanced ancient civilizations. With its reliable summer rainfall and fertile land, this region allowed the Maya to thrive for centuries. However, between 800 and 1,000 years ago, the population plummeted. The collapse of Maya society has been attributed to a century-long mega-drought, which damaged food production and triggered societal unrest. However, there have been few efforts to quantify this event. Through scientific analysis, Dr. Martin Medina Elizalde at the University of Massachusetts has revealed the changes in climate experienced by the Maya followed more complex patterns than previously thought. To better understand rainfall during this period, Dr. Medina Elizalde and his colleagues traveled across the Yucatan Peninsula, gathering geological samples. Among these were stalagmites, rock formations that grow upwards from cave floors as minerals contained in water dripping from the ceiling are deposited. The first stalagmite they collected was a 45 centimeter long specimen that they nicknamed chalk after the Maya god of rain. Within the carbonate molecules of chalk, the researchers looked for variations in the naturally occurring isotopes, oxygen-18 and oxygen-16. Ratios of oxygen-18 and oxygen-16 reflect the proportions of these isotopes in rainfall when the stalagmite was forming. Heavy rainfall events tend to result from high elevation clouds, which have a higher proportion of the light isotope oxygen-16. Therefore, carbonate deposits containing high proportions of oxygen-16 and low proportions of oxygen-18 record times when rainfall was high. In contrast, carbonate deposits containing relatively greater amounts of oxygen-18 and lower amounts of oxygen-16 reflect periods with low rainfall. From this analysis, Dr. Medina Elizalde's team gained the first detailed picture of how annual rainfall varied between 800 and 1,000 years ago. During the worst periods of drought, they concluded that the Yucatan Peninsula experienced a 40% reduction in rainfall. Through simulations, the team recreated the oxygen-18 isotope levels in chalk and sediments from two lakes. They showed the reduction in rainfall was likely associated with a decrease in the frequency and intensity of tropical storms. Interestingly, their measurements suggest that this reduction didn't occur in a single mega drought. Instead, the Maya would have experienced a succession of drought events. Crucially, Dr. Medina Elizalde discovered that this succession of droughts was interrupted by brief periods where rainfall returned to plentiful levels. This aligns with the historical consensus that the Maya collapse didn't occur evenly across the region. Today, there are striking parallels between the droughts suffered by the ancient Maya and the extreme weather caused by climate change. Dr. Medina Elizalde ultimately hopes to build a theoretical framework of how ancient Maya society collapsed, potentially providing crucial insights into the changes we need to make as a society in order to avoid a similar fate on a global scale.